hello friends once again welcome back in my channel friends today i'm going to teach you how to make grid from autocad plan okay so right now i have a plan like this okay i just uh, draw the center line plan of the, like uh, one, one complicated plan this complicated plan how can be uh, make as a grid in e tabs so first of all friends you can just draw like this your plan easily and then you can just provide the uh, distance like from here to here one grid so you can give the name is for this one one and I'll take for this point I'll take the grid name is 2 and from for this point I'll take the grid name is 3 and for this one I'll take the 4 if only one line is there then only then also you can provide the name grid name and uh, for this one I'll take the 5 okay then you can just uh, provide the distance from here to a distance is what 3 means the here 0 and here is 3 from here to here 3 but here is 6 and here 3 and from here to here uh, the here you the dimension is 6 and here 6.8 and here 10.8 sorry 10 now same thing you can do from uh, from the for this line I'll take the grid is a and for this line this line only here only but also you can provide the name from here to here name is B so here your distance is 0 here distance is 1.5 might be understand and uh, here for this line I'll, I'll take the C for this line I'll take the D for this line this middle line I'll take the E and for this one I'll take the F and for this one I'll take G even if one point is there if this point is meet from here to here it's create the H and as distance is 0 0.89 and when your this point is meet here is also going to create one dimension this is what this is e and this name is i what i and after this this point this is what j so i'll make it like this plan okay and if you want to, uh, to see the dimensions so i'll just here 1.5 2.5 just calculate from suppose a, a is what zero b b is what 1.5 c c is what c i think something mistake in calculation no uh, c a is 0 b is 1.5 c is 4 c is 4 4 by 2.5 plus 1.5 okay and d is 6 and e is 7.5 f is just calculate 9 and then same like this i'll just calculate whole things from here to here means 0 1.5 is going to increase all time okay and the same thing you can do here also 0 why 0 point this point this point 0 next is 3 why 3 because this point is 3 next is 6 so i'll take 6 after that this is 2.5 so total is 8.5 so here 8.5 last one is 10 so i'll make create uh, like grid like this now i'm going to create same grid in ETFs. see how can we uh, like make the grids in ETFs. first of all just go to edit sorry file and then new model use built-in setting with your unit your country code and uh, steel code concrete code and then click ok now like uh, first video i was discuss the uniform structure but right now it's not a uniform structure so here you can use custom grid spacings what custom grid spacings and custom story data i don't want this story i want custom story data okay for that just go to edit grid data okay same grid like in your autocad so you can just create a b c d how much you want i want j total is or j see your first coordinate is zero second is just see from here second is i just make the table so it's easy 1.5 then 4 then 6 1.5 4 then 6 again try to check after 6 
friends after this 12 <laughs> okay uh, 12.39 12.39 okay again check 13.30 13.30 do carefully yeah and then uh, last one is 14.5 14.5 okay so this is i'll just make grid here so this grid is created here and now in y direction y direction means this direction so for this direction i also make there 0 3 6 8.5 10 so and 1 2 3 4 5 okay so i'll just make here 1 2 3 4 5 0 3 6 8.5 and 10 might be understand right so by this method you can do x grid and y grid after this just provide actually main uh, like complication is here only in plan if you get this one easily easily you can do anything okay now after this this is the bubbles bubbles are uh, like uh, bubble size is too much so you can decrease the bubble size from here i'll take the bubble size 800 mm only okay okay just click okay now custom story grid there is a, some stories are there and the master story is story 4 that's why all time I use similar story here. Na. Why similar story? Because similar story means story 3 is going to copy story 4. Story 2 is going to copy story 4. Story 1 is going to copy story 4. Everyone is copying story 4. And this is your master story. Okay. If you create the master story, this one. So this is master. So this is not going to follow story 4. But if you click here, no. Yeah. This is going to follow the story 4 what is splash story friends for splash story suppose i'll make one diagram this is your steel uh, steel column okay and this size is 8 meter suppose this size is 8 meter suppose you use your and again you'll take the line and you use one story one building from here to here this is 3 meter what this is 3 meter and again you take one more floor this is also three meter now your extra two meter is here now your extra two meter is here this extra two meter is what splice story means story two is splice story why here your uh, like column is like resting two column uh, two meters your columns so this story is what this story is splice story and this splice height is what splice height is two meters you can see your next option is splice height so this is your 2 meter might be understand right now just click ok and then click ok so your grid is like this okay and after this if you want to uh, like increase the height you can increase the height from here just go to uh, like edit and then edit story grids after this you can just quick add a story but i'm not going to add that much story uh, but if you want to add you can add from here quick add a story okay and then uh, there is a refresh view just do the refresh view after this go to define material properties add new material here india this is your concrete indian and then m25 just add the mat section properties frame section also and in frame section just go modify this one and otherwise you can use add new material also here this is m25 415 for column i'll take the 415 sorry this is beam so you can take a beam size is 300 is enough and then modify and beam cover is what 25 25 okay okay now concrete column is there modify
column column and a click ok just click ok now this is column so just click here and first of all put the beams so you can take beam from here concrete beam ok and this is quick story beam so you can just draw from here see from this point to this point mean G point the your beam is straight so you can direct assign your beam from here to G point only for G point like this ok so this is not a similar story you can use similar story so that if you do for one story it's going for all stories like this now from here to here your story is same ok after this from here to your story same ok and then you can see again AutoCAD one point is came from B to 4 B to 4 so you can do like this that's why we make the grid is make your work easy ok and after this you can see from C to last yeah, C to last so just from C to last like this and then D is also going to last but E is something different E is only in 3 to 2 so just go to 3 and 2 so this is E like this ok now again you can see from F F is all and G is all for all so for F you can do like this and for G you can look, do like this ok now you can see in Y direction only we can go for from here to G only from 3 number to G and from 2 number to G ok from here to G and from 2 number to G so G is here also like this and like this ok yeah done after this this line is not a straight line so if you trying to use like this command is not possible because your line is not straight so use from here draw beams this one is quick draw beam this is draw beam so you can use draw beams concrete beam from this point to this point like this ok after this again you can take from here to like this ok so your grid is like this your whole structure is we create every beams now the next turn is for columns so I will take the column from here and one column I place here one column I place here one more so, see this distance is very less so we not required here one column here also not required a column ok so I will take here one column but problem is here only when you going to assign here one column there is an angle there is an angle so how can we check how much angle required for this column so again you can take add draw beams click here and go like this how much angle is 73 what is your angle 73 so how can we put the angle again take a column and there is column angle so you can take angle is sorry 73 73 enter now when you go like this see the, your angle is like this so this is the right way ok so you can easily understand ki how to uh, like assign the columns in angle after this slab here you cannot use this draw floor slab only you can use draw floor slab so how can we use 
first point second point third point do carefully otherwise it's not going to draw is done again from here to here and then here here and here 1.2.3 4 last you can create for all like this Friends, meet your points carefully, okay? Otherwise, it's going for wrong. Actually, if you have a practice, because maximum companies provide you 45 minutes only for making the grids, and they have it gives you the complicated structure plan. So, if you have a practice, then only you can do like this. Yeah, it's done. After this, everyone know what we are going to do uh, next is your load and after load uh, you can just provide your I'm going to tell you loads uh, like uh, what exactly loads is going to came here means in for inner wall is what load is and like required and for outer wall what load is required but not in this part I'm going to make a second part and that part is came tomorrow you can see that part and uh, <coughs> Uh, I think you understand how to assign the grids. Uh, next video, I'm going to tell you how to calculate the exactly load. Exactly load means for live live load for uh, for this building for this type. What I'm going to tell you that also, and also inner wall load and outer wall loads, and also I'm going to design tomorrow. So just wait and do today these things like you can just do the practice for the making the grids. Thank you so much for watching this video.